Hi, today I want to show you how to deal with a partially applied document that I want to void. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about at first. I'm going to try to go ahead and void a credit memo for a particular vendor that I've already set up. In this particular case, the document or the credit memo itself is $6,000 and I really need it to only be $5,500, so it's too much, so I need to void it and re-enter it properly. And if I try to void it, it gives me the warning message that it can't be voided because it's uh, been partially applied or it is on hold. So let's go into the inquiry screen and take a look at it a little more closely. And here it is again, and you can see it is partially applied. There is still $500 un, uh, um, unapplied to it. So $5,500 is applied and $500 is unapplied, so we need to, to correct that issue. It either needs to be fully unapplied or fully applied. If I were to click on the drill down for unapplied amount, I can see that it was applied to this invoice. And if I look, I can see this invoice's history. I find the easiest way to deal with this is to go ahead and enter in a fake invoice. And we can even put in a document number of fake invoice if you want to and we'll make it for five hundred dollars and it doesn't really matter where we're going to distribute it to because we are going to end up deleting the invoice or avoiding the invoice when we're finished with this process. I'll click on post and we'll set it to post I will okay I'll then go in and apply the payables document so I'm going to now pull up, because the initial $5,500 invoice that was applied to had moved to history, I cannot go in here and unapply. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply that in full. Now I can go into historical transactions and look up my document. There it is. I can now void it. And then I need to remember to go into open because now those both documents that it was applied to are back as open status and I want to avoid that fake invoice because it was just a holding something to hold it by. And then I'm ready to rekey in my credit memo for 5500 and keep on moving. Hope this helps.